Hello guys, great news, it's official, it's stable and it's live and Filament V4 is ready for everyone to use, it's out of beta. In this video I will make a quick overview of what does it actually mean, what are the main things that you need to know, how to upgrade and whether it is time to start new projects with V4. First, compared to beta version, what did actually change? In the docs on GitHub, you may find this. So previously in v4 beta version documentation, there was this composer config minimum stability beta. So you don't need to do that anymore. In the docs now, it's just composer require and filament install. And even composer require without the version, if you try it without 4.0. So here I am in my terminal on a new fresh Laravel project you will see that it defaults to filament 4.0. So here it is. And as you can see in the middle of it, filament actions and all the other filament packages are version 4 now, stable. So you can totally start your fresh filament project with v4. That said, of course, important question is the plugins. So whether in your v4 project, you're planning to use plugins, a lot of them are updated already to v4. So 71 results on the official homepage of filament plugins but there are still a lot of non-updated plugins. Of course, it will improve with time pretty fast, I would think. But still, before starting the project on v4, please plan your plugins that you may use and check if they support v4 or it is in plans on their GitHub in the pull requests or maybe plugin author tweeted something like, for example, Adam here has the full list of plugins to check for updates so yeah, plugins is a topic to check additionally. But filament itself, again, it's stable. During the beta period, during the beta period, as I was testing and a lot of filament community members were testing, no major bugs were found. So I can personally approve that it is ready to use. Now, if you want to upgrade your existing V3 project to V4, it's a separate story. There's upgrade script, and I will talk about that a bit later in this video. For now, let's take a look at the features, new features in V4. So if you go to content on the official filament homepage, there are two tutorials, the announcement by Alex that it is stable and also what's new in filament four by Leandro. And this tutorial is probably more important for you, which is basically similar to Alex's tutorial three months ago about beta version, just summarized in a bit different way. Also, I had two videos released when v4 beta was announced. First, look for new features. The most important features I picked at the time of v4 beta. And also there was a video about five changes in the forms and table structure between v3 and v4. And we'll also discuss that when looking at upgrade script. So you can watch or rewatch those videos. The new features didn't change much since the beta release. So let's quickly run through them and I will also shoot more videos about separate features in more depth, but probably the most important things are improved performance of the tables. Also what people were waiting for is nested resources. I would highlight that. Then also a lot of improvements for rich editor and tip tap specifically. Also people were waiting for tables with custom data like external APIs or static data. This is now possible in V4. And also improved bulk action system. Dan Harren on the stream on Discord on the official stream of launch V4. Dan called it his favorite new feature in v4. Again, I will link that article in the description below. There's also video by Dennis presenting v4 at a meetup and there are more details here. So I will not read that for you in this video. This is just an overview video. We'll dive deeper in the future videos on this channel. So subscribe to not miss any of those. Now let's talk about upgrading v3 projects to v4 and in the documentation at the very bottom, you will see upgrade guide. First, of course, you need to read that in full. This is kind of like terms and conditions. You are at risk. If you haven't read something here, then you are at risk of something being broken because you didn't plan for something to be not structured well. But there's upgrade script. So there's filament upgrade, which I will briefly demonstrate now. But I'm also planning a separate video in more depth. So I've taken one of the projects on filamentexamples.com, which we are now in progress to update projects to v4. And I've taken one of the most simple ones, 
custom table layout for table of stocks or something like that and this is v3 and this is how it looks and how it works with v3 let's try to upgrade it with upgrade script and see what it actually does first you should run composer require dash dash dev which i already did in this project and then let's execute vendor bin filament v4 there is a warning in bold that please use git and commit all the changes previously so you would see what are the changes made by upgrade script because when you put in the folder like app here it will make changes to your live files which temporarily will break your full application so let me show you if we specify the app it will upgrade our files to filament 4 syntax what does it actually mean so here I open that with git changes. So those files were changed and mostly is just changes to namespaces. So these are added on top in the use section instead of having full namespaces in all those methods. But also there are changes like actions to record actions, bulk actions to toolbar actions, also changes for navigation icon, which should be backed enum string or null then changes from form to schema so basically now the resource is prepared for filament v4 syntax in other files for example here is delete action on top and in the admin panel provider for example also use things on top here so nothing really fancy it's mostly just cleanup but some of those changes are actually breaking syntax so for example if we refresh our page now it will be broken because now the types are different. We are still on filament v3 in Composer JSON, but the code of that is v4 now. So that's why the second part of the upgrade script is actually well upgrading filament itself. The code is ready, but now we need to bump up the filament version. If we launch now, Composer JSON has been updated. So now in GitHub, you should see Composer JSON like this then important point about plugins if you use any in this case i didn't use any external plugins of filament and i will just run composer update and i missed one plugin actually so i did use filament badgeable column so this is where we get back to the tweet i mentioned already by adam so badgeable column is ready for version 4 so you need to go to plugin github check the version which is version 3 at the moment also check the syntax because in this case plugin syntax has changed with different namespaces and also what i missed important thing before running upgrade script one of the requirements is tailwind 4 which is not automatically upgraded by filament upgrade script also if you have laravel earlier version than this or php earlier version these are requirements and prerequisites before you run upgrade script so to make this particular video shorter as an overview i will not run it here in this video instead i will shoot a separate video on upgrading older projects including these requirements but for now you just need to know where to find that upgrade script if you want to try it out and that upgrade script will change the syntax of the files but it will not force the new version 4 structure of folders because as i mentioned in this video on youtube now things are in different places so tables and forms are separated in their own files so for that there's another upgrade script separate which is filament upgrade directory structure to v4 first you should run it with dry run to see the changes and only then run it without that flag again i will not demonstrate it in this video separate video coming for that but this is basically how you upgrade of course again warning use git commit everything before running any automatic scripts because between v3 and v4 there are quite a few significant changes in the syntax in the folders and potentially in plugins which may break your application if you're not careful so what's next for filament 4 from here actually business as usual still pull requests here a lot of closed pull requests coming now daily so 17 hours ago 20 hours ago small improvements documentation things so you should expect minor versions like 4.0.1.2 and so on and of course i will tell you all the news on this channel meanwhile we're busy with the team upgrading all our filament examples and while doing that we have almost 80 projects at the moment some of them are already on v4 because they were created on v4 but we will practice the upgrade script practice the upgrades of plugins and related laravel or tailwind features and i will also tell it all on my channel 
Meanwhile, you can access all those projects in V3 and in V4 for the same price. We will not raise the price, at least for now. So if you want to get the access and support our mission, go to filamentexamples.com. And also with that on Laravel Daily Com courses, we launched a new course Filament 4 from scratch. Not sure how relevant it is for you guys because you're on Filament channel. So I assume you know how to work with Filament, but maybe you can send this course to anyone who wants to start. Or maybe you want to refresh your knowledge, which is 28 lessons. So maybe you didn't have any practice with some of those features. And I will link that course as well in the description below. For now, it's a text-based course. So almost two hours read. Now today I will start shooting videos for that should be released in video format in a few weeks. Now, what do you think about V4? Will you hurry to use it? Of course, there's nowhere to hurry. You can still use V3. It will be supported for quite a while. And maybe similarly to Laravel versions, you should wait for a few weeks or even a month and then upgrade when majority of the plugins get updated. And as usual, let's discuss all the changes of V4 in the comment section below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.